Hey guys, I'm Rasim from rasmertech.com and in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to create your first PHP file. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is open up our XAMPP control panel. I have mine pinned here. Now we want to make sure, sorry about that. Now we want to make sure that Apache and MySQL are running. The second thing we're going to need to do is open up a text editor. I like to use Notepad++. You guys can use any text editor. If you guys have Windows, you can use Notepad, it's fine. But if you guys want a download link to this Notepad++, I'm going to leave it at the bottom of this description. Now click into File, click into Save As, click into My Computer, click into Drive C, or wherever your uh, Windows drive is stored on. We're going to go down to XAMPP folder and click into that. Now we're going to click into htdocs. This is where we're going to store all our programming source code. Now, we're going to make sure we uh, give it a, a file name. I'm going to call mine test. And uh, we've got to give it a .php. And we're going to make sure that we click on all types. So whatever you, you name the file, you got to give it a .php. And make sure you click on all types. And make sure it's saved in the htdocs. Okay, now we're going to hit save. Now, we're going to type in something. Let's type in test. I'm going to hit save. Now, we, I'm going to access this file from the browser. So, we're going to open up the browser. We're going to delete all this. Type in local. Type in host. And type in backslash. Then the file name you gave the PHP file, I, I gave mine test.php, we're going to hit enter, and that's it. Now that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from rosmertech.com and thanks for watching.